Margaret, what does BGL stand for? Boys get lost. And that means you. Life would be so much better without boys, don't you think? <laughs> That's better. Now, let's get this party started. Run. Hmm. You are in, boy. Hey, Henry, two things to say to you. Yeah? You're in big trouble for being late. Oh, tell me something new, Ralph. And, um, is it true you're going to Bogey Brain Sleepover? What? No! Well, it's not what I heard. Catch you later. I'm going to Moody Margaret's sleepover! No! <clears throat> oh, Henry! How nice of you to join us! Get out your reading book, Henry! You are lucky enough to be invited to Margaret's extra special VIP sleepover, my house tonight. P.S. No boys allowed. What? Did you see something, Henry? Uh, no, Miss Battleaxe. Ouch! Stop it, Henry! And ah! what, may I ask, is this? So, Henry... It seems that you've been invited to Margaret's sleepover. Uh, yes. I mean, no, Miss Battleaxe. Well, Henry, I would be inclined to believe you, as it does say here, no boys allowed. Phew! But on the other hand, you were in possession of this invitation, and that means you are invited. Whoa! Think of it as your homework, Henry. What do you mean? Well, tonight, Henry, you're going to be an honorary girl. <gasps> and you can tell us all about it tomorrow. If you survive that long, Henry. <laughs> no! Oh, I think it's so nice that you're going to Margaret's sleepover. Sleepovers are such fun. Yeah, they are. The ones without girls. Oh, don't be silly, Henry. You're going to have a great time. Now, let's see what we've got. Cool. Are they all for me? Not so fast, Henry. These are for you to share with the girls. Great. I knew it was too good to be true. There. Now, ready to go? Oh, this is so exciting. Well, if you're so excited, why don't you go then? Don't be horrid, Henry. Now, off you go and enjoy yourself, or else. This could be the worst night of my life. The more observant of you will have noticed that I left the house with two bags, but now I only have one. Well, you didn't think I was going to waste good snacks on that beetle brain, did you? This could be the last time you'll ever see me, so perhaps we should say goodbye now. After all, we've been together for a long time. Come in, Henry. We've been waiting for you. Oh, uh, right. It's been nice knowing you. Well, have fun, everyone. Bought any snacks, Bogey Brain? Yeah, any snacks, Bogey Brain? No, Bogey Brain. Why not? Bogey Brain? Yeah, why not, Bogey Brain? Because, Bogey Brain! <sighs> well, get on with it, Bogey Brain. Get on with what, Bogey Brain? Yeah, with what, Bogey Brain? Your VIP sleepover, Bogey Brain. Yeah, your VIP sleepover, Bogey Brain. I. Uh, um, oops. Wondered if you needed us to do anything for you, Sweetness. Yes, we need you to get rid of this horrid boy. Oh, but Sweetness. Look, it's your fault I'm here in the first place. It's for me. It's the postman. 
he's got my special delivery DVD of Gross Class Zero and Tops the Pops! Hello, Great Aunt Greta. How nice to see you. What? Where's my DVD? Hello, Henrietta. All ready for our trip to the park? Oh, this isn't happening. Have you forgotten my birthday treat? A girl's afternoon out. Just you and me. Please, tell me this isn't happening. I brought my skipping rope. Nothing like a good old skip, eh, Henrietta? No! to stay at home and watch TV and I get to go to the park with my seriously weird aunt who thinks I'm a girl. Hang on a minute. That's my package. There you go, Peter dear. Have fun watching your teenage DVD. Oh, thank you, Great Aunt Greta. Come along, Henrietta. It's going to be a long day. Forgotten something, Henrietta? Uh, yes, you've forgotten that I'm not a girl, I'm a boy. No, no, I meant my bag. <laughs> oh, come on, Henrietta. It's only got a few of my special rock cakes in it. Not a very strong girl, eh, are you, Henrietta? No, Great Aunt Greta, I am not a very strong girly. Off we go. Hey, wait for me! That's my girl, Henrietta. Keep up. Question, Susan. Yeah, I'm asking the questions. Uh, oh, sorry, Margaret. Ha! What a snot slime you are, Henry. Can't even find your way out from under a blanket. Yeah, under a blanket. <laughs> what are you doing under there anyway, Beetle Bunts? Henrietta! Is that your seriously weird great old Greta? Yeah. Seriously weird. Time for a rock cake, Henrietta. She's seriously weird. Get lost, bogey brain. Oh, come on, Susan. Not worth wasting any more brain cells on this loser. Yeah, not worth wasting. Come on, Susan. We haven't got time for all that. Good riddance. Ah, that's where I put the sandwiches. <laughs> Want one, Henrietta? Oh, here goes. Um, <laughs> what's in these sandwiches? Sand, of course. That's why they're called sandwiches. Seriously weird. Do you like skipping, Henrietta? Oh. I used to love it when I was a girl. Um. Oh, come on, Henrietta. You can go faster than that. <laughs> faster! Faster! All right, all right. Sorry, God, stop! Oh, I'm turning the road for my seriously weird aunt! Oh, who would that be then? <laughs> oh, oh, you made me jump! <laughs> so, you think I'm seriously weird, do you? Well, are you? Come on, Henrietta, your turn. What? You mean me? Jump on that? Oh, yes. Don't you worry. I'll turn the rope very slowly. Well, okay then. Blah blah, blah 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 blah, blah blah blah, 
bla bla school, bla 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 everyone, bla 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 prize. Prize? What prize? Henry, do you have any idea of what I'm talking about? Uh, no. Do you ever have any idea of what I'm talking about? Uh, no. Who can tell me what I'm talking about? <gasps> oh, oh, oh! Margaret. Please, miss, you're talking about a competition, miss. A competition? That's right, Henry. A competition that the whole school will be taking part in. All you have to do is read a book. Read? A book? reads the most books will win a very special prize. Oh, please, miss. I'm going to read 15 books, miss. Yeah, 15. Oh, I'm going to read 16. 17. 22. 27. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am glad to see you all so enthusiastic. And I shall expect a book report for every one of the books you read. Hey. Eh? Class dismissed. <laughs> You've never read a book in your whole life. Yeah, your whole life. Have two? And I'm going to win this competition. Just you wait and see. <laughs> Why can't they have fun competitions like who can burp the loudest or who knows the rudest words? I'd win all of those. Books I got from the library. <laughs> Forget it, worm. I'm going to win the prize. You read a book? Yeah. Look at what I've read already. Comics don't count, Henry. Yes, they do. No, they don't. You're going to have to read a proper book, Henry. <laughs> a book. A book. I need a book. Wait a minute. Any books? What are you reading, Worm? The Happy Nappy. I'm unhappy, Pappy, said the Snappy Nappy. That's my book. But I want to read it. Give it to me! Books anyway. You really don't remember, Henry? <laughs> but I need to read a book for school. It's just not fair. I need books and fast. I could always borrow a flu. This'll do. And this one. And this. She'll never win if she reads books this big. <laughs> Girls are great. Girls are best. Girls forever. Girls beat the boys. Yuck! What are you doing? Give me back my books! Now! Yeah, now. Uh -oh. Get him! What? My 
my money box. You hid it, remember? In case of burglars. Henry. is a penny earned. Don't be hurried, Henry. And tidy your room, now. Oh, I need money, and I need it fast. I'm in charge because it's my garden. You're being the fairy godmother. Oh, but I want to be the wicked witch. No, I'm the wicked witch. Oh. Maybe I could sell my mean monster comic collection to Moody Margaret. <laughs> no way! Maybe I could borrow some of Peter's money. Club more like. Fang Mangler's Revenge. <laughs> Wouldn't catch them reading this. Eureka! That's it! <laughs> and I kept my room tidy all week. Hey, you can't just come in here. We'll just have. You need to know the password. Vitamins. How did you know? I know lots of things. I even know where to find a fang mangler. <gasps> a fang mangler? Uh, what is a fang mangler exactly? It's slimy, it's scary, it's horrible, and it's out there. At night they hide in the shadows and then they leap out of the bushes. Do, 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 do they bite? Only once. Oh. <gasps> oh, I've never even heard of a fang mangler. I want to see one. I want to see one too. Is this a trick, Henry? Of course it's not. There's no point pretending you don't like school dinners, Henry. 
but I don't not like them. I hate them. Well, you've got to eat something. Yuck! Just look at this gunk! Revolting ravioli, mushy macaroni, curdle custard, and... What's that? <laughs> I'm being poisoned! I'm being poisoned! Ah! Yes! No more school dinners for me! <laughs> From now on, it's the packed lunchroom and food you can eat, food you can swap, and food you can enjoy! <laughs> feeling a little better then, Henry? No, I must be allergic to school dinners, miss. <laughs> Nonsense. You just fainted from hunger. So here's your dinner with extra helpings. Huh? And don't even think of moving till you've eaten everything. Oh, yuck! You just can't be a good salad, can you? Wicked! Everyone in my class has a packed lunch! N-O spells no. It's too much work and you never eat what we give you. But I hate school dinners! I love school dinners. They're delicious. Silence, worm. Mom! Henry told me to shut up! Don't be horrid, Henry. Please! Please, can I have a packed lunch? <sighs> Well, if you promise to eat everything... Yippee! Packed lunchroom! Here I come! <laughs> yes! <laughs> You're one of us now, Henry! <laughs> Thank you, Henry. You have given us a perfect demonstration as to why this lunchroom is out of control. <laughs> you all know Greta from the cafeteria. She is now in charge of the lunchroom. Her assignment is to keep order. And she will monitor your lunch boxes to make sure you're eating everything up. Yes. Right. Everyone return to your seats, open your lunch boxes and eat. I'm not letting the demon dinner lady spoil my fun. Hey, that's mine! Not anymore. It's confiscated. You ate my muffin. Yes, I did. Huh? <laughs> no treats allowed. It's really not fair. She can't eat our food, can she? What can we do about it? Tomorrow is another day. Give me a treat now. <laughs> I'm safe from Greasy Greta. Treats? Doesn't anybody have any treats? <laughs> if you don't tell me where Margaret has hidden her treats, then it's back to school dinners for you, Andrew. I hear it's stringy stew. We should be banned. 
Fair. Stop it now! But it's not poetry. No singing, no poetry, no words, nothing. But your lips are moving. <laughs> nothing. To me, droopy pants. And what's that? It's my new plant. Woohoo! Miss Lovely gave it to me. Why? We're making our plants grow up to be happy plants by playing music and singing to them. <laughs> what's that for? Feeding time. Growing plants need to be fed regularly. So what are you feeding it? I have some very nutritious plant food. <laughs> but what if it wants a sandwich? I'm not reading you poetry. Hey, would you like to see the latest issue of Kung Fu Cockroach? <laughs> oh, what? Ah, we need music. Tea time. <gasps> what are you doing? I think your plant likes me. Of course it does. You've got the same IQ. <laughs> Get lost, party features. Oh, look. Henry's finally got a friend. Just a pity it's a vegetable. <laughs> Actually, it's not a vegetable. Its Latin name is... Oh, up early, boys. Henry, housework today, remember? The hoover won't run itself. <gasps> he doesn't like poetry. He? <sighs> if I had a plant, I'd teach it to eat rubbish so I'd never have to clean up ever again. Did you ring the bell? Brilliant! Wait here a minute. Wow, that plant can move by itself. Henry, you can't have finished already. All right, all right. Oh, this is exhausting. <sighs> oh, stupid Peter and his stupid plant waking me up so early. <sighs> it's for me! We've come to see your plant. How's it doing? Ta-da! Oh, it's lovely! How do you get it to grow so big? Regular nutritious food. And I've been reading it poetry. Ooh, yes! It especially likes sardines. Are you going to play a game, boys? Oh, yes! What a super idea! What shall we play? Sardines, of course! <laughs> How lovely! Shall I take your plant up to your room, Peter? Yes, please, Mum. Sam and I will count. Gordon, you hide. Oh, goody! One... Sam anywhere? No, I was asleep, fungus head. All I've seen was the inside of my eyelids. I was asleep! But... Ouch! <laughs> 